Well, let me read through these parables. I'm gonna read the first one and give us a moment to meditate, and then the second one give us a moment to meditate. And I would love for us just to take a couple of minutes, get comfortable, be in a posture of receptivity. Again, some people might wanna turn your palms up as just a way of saying, I'm ready to receive from you, Lord. This is not a religious practice that we're just uh, embedding in our liturgy. This is us actually making space to let the Holy Spirit in that still small voice speak to us. Jesus is here and he has something to say not just to the church in general but to each of us as individuals. Let's listen, let's listen and ask him to help us apply this teaching to our situation in our lives. Father, we ask that you speak to us now by the power of your spirit. May the words of Jesus from 2,000 years ago be made alive to our hearts right now so that we can apply this teaching in our lives right away. With our eyes closed, just tuning in to the voice of the Spirit, hear the words of Jesus. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds come and perch in its branches. Think about the gentleness of this image, the smallness of its beginnings, but also how it welcomes its enemies and serves them. And think about what the Spirit is saying to you and how you can apply this. And again, the kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into about 60 pounds of flour until it worked all through the dough. Heavenly Father, help us prepare our hearts for hospitality and welcome. Jesus, thank you for not only speaking the word of God, but for being the word of God, for showing us what these parables look like when they are lived out. I thank you that you model for us the life of the kingdom in its gentleness and its courage and its enemy love and its hospitality towards people who may not have enough to eat They may not have the spiritual nourishment that God desires for them. Jesus, I can't help but think when you speak of a tree here that you would have in mind the tree that you would eventually give your life on. And that when you speak of bread here, you would think of the bread that you held out to your disciples and said this is your your body which is broken for them. And I pray now as as we celebrate the Lord's Supper together, as we think back on the sacrifice that you have made for us, that we will continue to hear you speaking to us and enlivening our hearts to the truth of your kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.